Hi, this is Will from Trayvax again, and today we're going to be looking at the original 2.0. If you've been following Trayvax for a while, you're probably very familiar with this product, but to those who haven't seen it before, it definitely requires some explanation. Even the name, original 2.0, can be a little confusing to some people. So I'm going to go over a little bit of the history of the company, how the original 2.0 came to be, and then I'm going to show you how it works, how to use it, and some of its features. So to understand the original 2.0, you have to understand the story of Trayvax. You may have heard this before, I'm going to give the super fast version. So, Trayvax was started in 2013 by our founder Mark King, and he originally was trying to design a container for reusable plastic bags, so something you could transport reusable plastic bags with. And during the process of revising this, he was working all on his own at this point, machining all on his own. At one point, while developing it, he realized it made a really great wallet. And it was a wallet that was totally different from anything out there. There are a lot of copycats out there now, but when it first came out, it was unlike any other wallet on the market. Uh, and the original Trayvax wallet looked something like this. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit different from the 2.0. We got the 2.0 here, and we got the original here. The original had a Velcro strap. That's probably the biggest difference. Uh, it still had the paracord, still had the aluminum front plate, the steel back plate. Um, but over the years, it went through more revisions. We got feedback from customers and we developed the original 2.0 as it is today. And so that's why it's called the original 2.0. Its design philosophy is very similar to the original. It looks quite similar, but it's got some key changes that really do make it a new kind of wallet. And that means that it requires some explanation on how to use. We get a lot of questions saying, well, how do I use that? Because it doesn't look like any wallet you've seen before. So that's what I'm gonna go over today. Just very quick, out of the box, what your wallet's gonna look like and how to get your cards and cash in it. So when you first get your original 2.0, it'll come in a really simple box like this. When you pull it out, uh, one of the first things you'll notice is it's very flat, doesn't have any cards in it yet. It's got this paracord lacing which a lot of people think is elastic. It's, it's not elastic, it's actually standard paracord. Um, main reason for that is just reliability and durability. Elastic is a lot more likely to fail. And paracord, there are all sorts of options that people have used to customize it. You can take this out, put your own paracord in, and there's a lot of different possibilities that people have shared on Facebook and on Instagram that we really love to see. Another thing you'll notice is there's a little card in here. This comes with all our wallets. There's a QR code that goes to a video with our founder, Mark King. So, how do you use it? Um, what you'll want to do first is you'll want to loosen uh, the paracord. So you start at this knotted end here, and it's just like loosening up a shoelace. You just follow it along the whole path. And I would recommend, I would recommend making it pretty loose at first, because then you can put however many cards you need into it, and you'll be able to just custom fit it without having to go back and forth and guess. So you just go front to back, front to back. Now that it's loosened a bit, you can put your cards in. If you've uh, got it fairly loose, you won't have to worry too much about fitting the cards in. And then you'll just tighten it up afterwards. So you'll start with this clasp here, with a little plastic end on the paracord, and it hooks over this metal hook and that actually is a pretty good fit already but I'll go ahead and tighten it see where the lace is loose you will just draw it back all the way to this little knotted end we showed you before and you know some people like a little bit of extra slack but you'll want this to be pretty tight it's not a it's not a clip it's not gonna snap but it hooks right over this metal and if you've got it tightened well enough it'll be very secure so as, as you can see, I almost have my cards upside down there. As you can see, it's not coming out. Even though it looks very simple, it really does hold your cards in. And so the next thing you'll probably want to do with your wallet is you'll probably want to store some cash in it. Our wallets are very modern, very, very focused on cards, but this one can hold up to 10 bills in this little clip back here. This clip also functions as a pocket clip. If you want to hook it onto your pocket, so you've got your cash back here, you've got your cards inside, you want to access your cards, you just start with that clasp again, unhook the clasp, and you can just slide them all up. They really slide easily out with the metal frame. 
And then there's a few more features that you'll see. There's an attachment point here. And again, people have done a lot of really cool customization with this attachment point. They've gotten lanyards and other accessories attached to it, some that they've even made themselves. And again, we would love for you to share that stuff on our Facebook and Instagram. It's always good to see. Uh, another feature is this clip actually serves three different purposes. It is a money clip, it is a pocket clip, and it's also a bottle opener. If you see these little grooves here, just basic bottle opener, hook it over the bottle cap, just pull it off. It doesn't take up a lot of extra space. And one feature that a lot of people forget about is this end right here is actually a pry bar. You can use it for all sorts of things. You can use it for prying or scraping or even for some large flathead screws. And there you go. There's just a lot of functionality with just a few parts that are reliable, easy to maintain yourself. And that really is the Travax philosophy. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a few more things about the original 2.0 wallet and a few more things about the Trayvax company itself. If you would like to see more how-tos, more product overviews, and learn more about the company, go ahead and like and subscribe.